was here for more 6510 models on the workbench today i have this virgin atlantic global flyer from a model before i get into the kit i just want to go for a bit of a backstory on how i got this kit i went for a day trip to minehead and if you don't know minehead minehead is in somerset on the north coast of of somerset <laughs> so right right on the edge of the bristol channel and that's where Butlins is. So if you hear of Butlins Minehead, basically that's where it is. And actually there's a model shop right in the middle of Minehead and it's called Friday Street News Suites and Models. And it's a sweet shop, but it has some of the most amazing kits available. And the beauty of it is, it's not like your usual Airfix, Revel, Tamiya, Stockist. This 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 uh, shop basically sells Eastern European, Far Eastern manufacturers. It's an amazing eclectic mix of subjects. He's doing a little bit of Warhammer there, but there, if you look on the videos that I'm showing you, he has some of the most amazing kits there, and they are relatively good value for money. He doesn't rip you off. He was a lovely gentleman, and. Uh, I started talking to him and I said I've got a YouTube channel and I just wanted to um, gear him up because he's independent. So the next time you end up, if you're an adult, end up in Minehead at Butlins and uh, you know, you've know you gone for a stag weekend, before you spend all your money on the beer there, because it isn't cheap for beer, or you've gone there for an ABBA tribute weekend or a 60s weekend or a two-tone you know, tribute, whatever, or you've just gone there with the family for a weekend away with your son vouchers, have a go down into the high street look for friday street go up the road he's on the right hand side blue door and um in there he's a sweet shop news agent and he does models so um he's definitely og he really is lovely fella and um, it's definitely worth going to visit but anyways <laughs> now i've got that spew out of the way by the way i'm going to go back there again but yeah so in his shop i bought four kits and one of them was this virgin atlantic global flyer it's a 1 to 72 scale kit it was released in 2009 so it's a 12 year old kit now but i've not seen many for sale in fact i've not seen it for sale anywhere the only reason i bought it was because i went into that shop and you know and that's the beauty of going into these independent shops they may have kits that aren't advertised or you see they're not air fix or anything they're just something a little bit different and uh and i'm really looking forward to building it like i said initial release was 2009 i haven't seen it released anywhere else no there's no there's been no new unbox a new box arts or new boxings or updated parts in it um but a model basically put this out here yeah this was the plane that was designed to go around the around the world non-stop and i think they've done it in 67 hours which is clever anyway so before we uh, move on, we'll go to the side of the box. So information there about the kit itself, about the, you know what you're building. The scale composites model 311 Virgin Atlantic Global Fly is an aircraft designed by Bert Rattan in which Steve Fawcett flew a solo non-stop airplane flight around the world in a time of 67 hours and one minute in February the 28th, 2005. Oh, until March the 3rd, 2005. Uh, the flight speed was 590 kilometres per hour. Broke the absolute world record for the fastest non-stop circumnavigation set by the previous Rutan Design Voyager aircraft at nine days, three minutes. And an average speed of 186, 11 kilometres per hour. Between February 8th, 2006, February 11th. Fawcett flew the Global Flyer for the longest aircraft flight distance in history. 41.467 kilometers i think that's supposed to be 41,000 kilometers i think that's what it should be so there's some information there's also in russian okay side of the box you've got the uh, 1 to 72 scale a little bit of it in russian you've got the box art again and it code for this one is 72189 there again information there tells you the construction kit contains a complete plastic model decal sheet two language instructional sheet glue and paint are not included in the kit and must be purchased separately so blah 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 and it's imported by ibg so ibg are uh, importing this one and uh, as i said that shop got it 
But anyway, there's the box. Let's open up. It's a top opening box already. So we just turn that over. Inside, you're going to get the instructions. You're going to get, oh, the bag's open. A bag of sprues. And I believe the decal sheet is inside. Let's take the decal sheet out. So there you go. There's the decal sheet. And, ah, oh, that's not looking too bad. It's by Decograph. They're the company that apparently printed these. At the bottom there, Global Flyer, cat catalogue number. You can just see um, Williams International there. You can see there's a bit of cockpit there, experimental. And then you've got the Virgin, the Virgin Lady. I can't remember what she's called now, but it says Global Flyer one. And then it's got some sort of badge there which I believe is the Atlantic. So get closer and get closer to it. No, it's not going to work. Atlantic Glory, something like that underneath. Or we'll oh, Global. There you go, anyway. So some nice pieces there. So in the bag, you will get... Oh, look at that. You will get one, two, three, four, and five. You have five sprues. One of them is uh, basically... Uh, you know transparent glass just look at very very tiny pieces there on the glass so just be careful of these they look all right is that i don't think that's missing i think that's supposed to be missing but i'll have a bit of check in a minute but i can't see any glass in there that's needed i think it's just uh an added piece but yeah there is the parts of the de of the uh of the sprue so these are not numbered these ones so we just have to go through as we see it the, you know there's no numbers on them i can't see any numbers just moving through not a lot of detail on this unfortunately i think it's just a you know it's a bullet type <laughs> sort of construction there's the wheel there moving through there's the first piece there look at these this is the actual um this is where the cockpit is, I believe. This is where it's in the middle of the of the two uh, outside fuselages. So it's like a mini, like a little fuselage section. There you go, moving through. Quite a piece there. Looks like a seat there, doesn't it, or something? Very difficult to see. You have some cockpit detail because you've got decals for the cockpit. Part of the engine there. Part of the nacelle. So there you go. There's that piece there. There's uh. <laughs> There's not a lot to say about this kit. <laughs> I'm presuming that this, these are, you know, made to be exactly the same. So you get the two sides. So yeah, they're you get two of the same. There you go, two of the same. Put them there. You can see two of the same. So basically, you're doing one one side of the aircraft and the other, and then you have the wings. I believe that they just bolt together so it's going to be quite long you're going to have that that and that so you imagine how long that is so you're going to get double that width wow so it's going to be quite a wide quite a wide plane this one for 172 and that's basically that's all you get for them right going through the instructions see how they make it Basically, it looks like it's going to be a two-pager, and you're right. So, call out there for the sprues. So, even though they're not numbered, you get two of them. And then, so basically, you've got to look at the paperwork. So, if you're doing the, if you need the wings, you're 18, 20, and 19. Place it on there. Whoops, wrong way around. Place it on there. So, 18, 20, and 19. And then you've got 1717 17 there. So, all right, that's how you got to do it with this kit. They're not numbered, which is unfortunate. You've got decals for the two versions of colouring. So, there must be two versions. And then, yes, yeah, so there wasn't anything missing in the middle there. There's just, uh, they've cut out pieces, obviously, for something. So, maybe they've got another tool in just to do a canopy window. Schemes, I don't know what colours they're using. A model, I'm sure they use Humbrol. Yeah, so Humbrol colours here. Um, so you've got the 27002, which is the polished aluminium, light grey, silver, matte US dark green, Humbro 33, which is your black. They've got a gloss black, purple, Humbro 68, Ferrari red 220, Humbro 22 white, Humbro 53 gunmetal, 
and Humber 144 Intermediate Blue. All right. So yeah, so it's telling you how to do it. There you go. There's your your cockpit there. So it's a one, two, transfer on three, four piece cockpit there. The wheel goes in underneath. It looks like for the front. And then you've got all your sections here, which are those two bits must join together to make one section. Turn upside down. Yeah, there you go. There's the gear in there. And you've got, you know, first piece, second piece. Then you're putting the wings together. It's hell of a, it's going to be hell of a width, isn't it? I wish I had a tape measure up here. I can't see the tape measure. It must be downstairs. So putting the wings together and then putting on the, the large fuselages there. Then you have your, your, um, your, your cockpit and, uh, you, you, you sell basically there putting the engines together one two three four five piece engines the well, this looks a bit complex you've got um it's always four piece four piece for the wheels so tell you which color to paint the wheels and there's the gear in there and two little flaps it looks like quite simple putting it all together and antennae there paint that over the course and there you've got the two schemes really uh easy to do um but yeah you got two halves there you got white on the bot and then you've got uh k k is black so it's black at the bottom is it oh, it's black at the bottom there so there you go so yeah it's 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 a kit for those who want to build this kit it's not uh what i would say it's not a popular kind of build it's something that if you were into the world record you would build and perhaps that's why they never re-released it as i said it's a specialist build kit this one um i'm going to build it because i actually like the idea of uh, having this in in my collection um i'm pleased i bought it because i'll tell you how much it costs because i just found the ticket for it it was 17 pound 70 and if you can get it cheaper elsewhere let me know um i'll try and put a link in the description box where you can buy it but yeah that's it really that was the virgin atlantic global flyer by a model so if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet just please subscribe then ring the bell select all and you will be notified every time i put out a new video or so they say and to remember subscribing to the channel is completely free okay if you're going to build this or you like it and you want any more information, just put a comment down below. I always reply to comments. And finally, there's only one thing else to say. Happy modelling, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.